Yo, what's good? And in today's video, we're talking about three reasons why you need more muscle, okay? Number one, the reason for more muscle is that it's gonna allow you to burn more fat and be able to burn more fat while eating more calories than you were naturally eating. I mean, the reason for this is because your body will have a better job at metabolizing the nutrients, right? So using them and then disposing of the waste uh, when you have muscle, right? But if you have less lean body mass, less muscle, and more fat, then the nutrients that go in your body, they won't need to, they won't be synthesized as quickly. Like, where are they gonna go? Like, what what in your body needs all this extra energy, all this extra fuel? Um, and that's lean body mass, that's muscle tissue. Lean muscle needs nutrients. So when you eat that food, your body can then synthesize it and utilize those nutrients, right? When you have lean body mass, but if you don't have an adequate amount of lean body mass or your body type, your weight, your size, your age, then your body's just gonna store those that fuel as fat because there's nothing that is utilizing it at that time. So just having more lean body mass, doing more resistance training, right? You don't have to be a bodybuilder and then crush it, but going at least three times per week, getting in a 20 to 45 minute, right? Depending on where you're starting at, 20 to 45 minute workout resistance training, right? Using dumbbells, using kettlebells, using weights, using barbells, whatever you need to use in your program, um, you're literally going to burn more fat just naturally. So just at rest, more lean muscle allows more body fat than the opposite. Also, during your workouts, you're gonna be able to tap into more body fat as well. And as you're eating food, right, you're gonna be able to eat more food, feel more satiated, right, to support that lean muscle and allow you to burn more body fat throughout the night too as well. Right, so that's number one. Number two is it's gonna help your joints, right? A lot of the joints, uh, are dysfunctioning because there is inadequate muscle. Muscles are inactive. Like right? we have people, we have what I've heard of called dead butt, where you just sit in your car, you sit at your desk, you sit at home, you're always sitting, and so our glutes aren't working. We aren't extending our hips. We have tight hip flexors, we have inactive glutes, which can cause and lead to uh, distal pain. So knee pain, ankle pain, joint pain, not the only reason, but if the muscles that are used to extend your hips and, and hold some of the weight, create stability, uh, are not active, then something else is gonna have to take that force, right? So it's gonna help with that joint pain as well. Just building stronger muscle tissue around the joint will help support that joint more, right? You think about the wheels on the car, right? If the car was massive and then the wheels or small or you're riding on donuts, you wouldn't be supporting that structure, right? You have to get solid tires to support that frame, right? And that probably wasn't the best analogy, but just have more muscle, have be stronger, right? And you can do these things at home with gallons of water. You can do it with chairs. You can do it with, you know, cans. You can do these things in your home. You don't need to go to the gym. I prefer gym. I like the gym. I like the versatility and the amount of machinery at the gym. But you can build more muscle just with body weight exercises, with HIIT exercises, um, with running, with walking. So just being more active, focusing on strength, training, and building muscle to some degree uh, will uh, will definitely help the joints. Like I said, not the only reason, but a key reason, right? I know when I uh, started building my legs stronger, my knee pain, my joint pain uh, started to go away as well. And then last but not least, the, the reason that all of us are doing this, you wanna look better, right? You will look better, you will have uh, better aesthetics, right? And looking better is relative, I understand, but if your goal is body transformation, you wanna burn fat, you wanna build muscle, and you have that in your mind, no one just wants to be super skinny, right? The, the, the human body looks the best, um, and it performs the best when there's an adequate muscle to fat ratio. So if you're just skinny without any muscle, then that's not going to, one, be the healthiest version of yourself, right? And it's not gonna give you the best results. So in order to, you know, look the best, you have to actually be of quality. You have to have the right amount of muscle mass and the right amount of body fat for your age, for your size, for your gender, so that it, uh, so that it performs at its very best. So those are the three reasons. You burn more fat naturally in all the other activities that you do, you'll be burning more fat. Uh, it's gonna help your joints increase the stability and strength at the joint and then the muscles around the joints and it's gonna help increase those aesthetics, uh, get you a bigger chest, get you nicer abs, get you stronger arms, 
there's women watching this page, get you stronger glutes, nicer legs, and I'm a man, uh, and I got nice glutes, and I got nice legs, and those are my things too as well. Those are my goals too as well. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know that when we're dropping video, you're about to learn something that you probably didn't know or you're about to solidify and confirm something that you already did know about how to transform your body and become the best version of yourself. So I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'm telling you, definitely comment. I read the comments, answer in the comments, helps make new content, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.